TikTok is probably one of those social medias that will go down in history as one of the greats. It's been pretty incredible over the last couple years to see TikTok develop from some Musical.ly app where kids are just dancing to music really cringely and lip syncing to now it being a place where you can learn anything no matter who you are, where you're from, you can learn anything that's going on in the world, you can learn a new skill, learn some, a fact that you didn't know, you know, you can, you can see everything on TikTok, which is probably why it makes it so addicting. With a lot of good always comes a lot of bad. And this trend I'm going to look into is no different. It's not one of those trends where, you know, someone's getting harmed. It's not a trend where there's anything realistically morally wrong going on, so to speak. No, in fact, this is just annoying. It's started to just plague social media at the moment just to be this type of person and make this type of content. It's very strange. It gives Alfie Days and Zoella vibes. So what we're going to be looking at today is this tweet that I saw of the TikTok. Uh, How much work is actually getting done is the caption. And I haven't seen this yet, but I just knew from spend a work day with me, big four management consultant. I knew immediately, oh dear, this is going to be spicy. So we're going to watch this and uh, you're going to... I'm going to live react with you guys because I'm sure you haven't seen this either. Spend an in-person workday with me as a big four management consultant. I woke up at 6.30, showered, had some Greek yogurt topped with honey and almonds for breakfast, finished getting ready and then ordered an Uber to the office. Work pays for our Ubers, which is so clutch because otherwise it would get so pricey. I got to the office, met up with my team, and then we went to the in-house Starbucks. I got tea for myself and- In-house Starbucks. All right, so- she works at Twitter then, right? <laughs> Twitter before Elon Musk bought it. That's what it sounds like. I'm, I'm kidding, but oh, Jesus. In-house Starbucks. God. Picked up a matcha latte and croissant for my manager. We were hungry, okay. so we also got breakfast sandwiches from the cafe. Oh, then okay. Well, hold on. Hold on. Good Lord. If I had that much time working in an office, luckily I work from home, but if I had that much time working in an office to like go get my Starbucks and get a breakfast sandwich... Oh my god, like as I start the day, that'd be insane. And we had back-to-back -back sessions for a few hours. We had some very cool brainstorming sessions. My brainstorming sessions? Oh my god, what is this job? Sign me up. Sign me up right now. What? Brainstorm- Dude, there's no way some people are actually being hired just to like get up at 9, well, get into an office at 9.46 and do brainstorming sessions. Also, I feel like she probably got in at 9, right? So she's been there for 46 minutes. My teammates are oh, no, such talented, eight. thoughtful people. No, nine. I felt so excited nine, about my product marketing work after all of these sessions. Afterwards, my coworker Ellie and I picked up sweet green for everyone for lunch. I got- Wait, hold on. Is that like, what was that? Wait, do they just order food and it just gets put on these shelves with their names on it and they just- Dude, is that all they do here is just eat Starbucks and like take away? I picked up wow. sweet green for everyone for lunch. I got the fish taco bowl, which was so yummy. Then I went to IT to switch out my PC for a Mac. Learning the new shortcuts will be a lot of work, but- Why would you do that? What? Why would you do that? What sane person does that? Macs are so smooth, I had to make the switch. We had more back-to-back -back meetings until the end of the day. Afterward- Dude, is she actually in the- like, doing the meetings other than eating? Every time she's just like, snacking on something or just like, smiling and laughing on her phone. We Ubered to a restaurant for drinks and dinner. From 5.30 Wait. to 9, we were at this restaurant just eating, laughing, oh drinking wine. My team gets a lot- What's with the absolute minimal serving of alcohol? I'm not gonna judge people for drinking a low amount of alcohol, like, good on you for self-control, but... Is that like a thing? People drink, like, sip, like, that much wine? I'm drinking wine. My team gets along so well, so it was the best time. We were having so much fun and didn't want the night to end, so we Ubered to the Lincoln Memorial, then we went- As you do, I also on a crazy night out just Uber to the Lincoln Memorial. Gotta say my piece to good old Abraham Lincoln. To Green Zone and Admo, finish the night with pizza, and that was my work day. Work day. I don't think I just witnessed any work. It was just sticking post-it notes and eating salad and uh, multiple other foods. Oh my goodness. Is there realistically any work going on there? No. But what I wanted to go into is the fact that these trends have become such a popular thing. I almost don't want to see it anymore. I know it's like kind of like harmless. In fact, it's completely harmless. It just... There's a, like a weird level of like, like an aftertaste of entitlement when you're watching it like this. And I don't know what it is. I feel like it's because I'm someone that, I mean, I'm quite fortunate to work an office job that I get to do from home. Uh, it's a nine to five. But realistically, like, I'm not like flat out, like all the time, like working like insanely hard, like getting super, super stressed out. Like there's a level of stress and there's a level of like 
amount of time my eyes are literally fixed on the screen at all times. Like it's it's I get a lot of breaks. But realistically, like it is mental, like when you see this stuff, because like if I were, I don't know, let's say a painter or a builder or a nurse and seeing this, I don't know why it would, I, th I feel like it would actually like strike a nerve in me. I don't know why. I feel like that's like an entitled thing as well to feel like that. But at the same time, I don't think it is. It's like a weird thing about it. Just like bragging about like your job being like this. I guess you're not even really bragging, but it feels like it. You know what I mean? It's like you did make a whole TikTok about your work day that you know realistically looks like you did no work at all. It literally looks like a holiday. <laughs> it literally looks like a little holiday getaway. I don't know. There's a lot of these. I wonder if I can find some. It's a Gen Z corporate work TikTok. That's how that's described. There's another one here. I immediately found the genre. We have found the niche. We're on niche talk now. Here we go. 22 year old Chicago girl on LinkedIn has the cushiest job on planet Earth. It was one of those days where you leave for work at 7 a.m. and you don't get back until past midnight. I left for work early for a 9 a.m. meeting that was conveniently canceled right beforehand. But luckily I got to the lobby and there were these eucalyptus towels waiting for me, which is really nice, and some fresh orange water, which I of Sorry? course took before taking the elevator up to the office. Sorry? I grabbed some bread. <laughs> my god, my brain, dude. What? Imagine getting into the office and like, I'm not a fresh warm towel? What am I gonna do with that? Oh, is that, is that a eucalyptus? <laughs> That is the most, like, deranged thing I've ever heard in my entire life. There are people dying. There's wars being fought. There are people starving to death. There are people even in my country, in the United Kingdom, even, I mean, it's happening everywhere, but, like, the United Kingdom is having a um, cost of living crisis. It's almost impossible to heat your homes. Everyone's houses are going moldy because they can't have the heating on. And here the... the I've got a eucalyptus towel. <laughs> like, fuck off. Breakfast, normal, oatmeal and chia seed pudding, and we finally got LinkedIn mugs in the office, which I'm so excited about. Then I found out that the wall heart that we have in the office is made out of recycled trees from Chicago, which was so cool, fun fact. And then it was time for our company All Hands, so I grabbed our drink of the day, which is a blackberry mojito, and headed downstairs to the All Hands room with some of my coworkers. Is that meal necessary? Some lunch because we were starving after that. There was this cool little dish and I grabbed a chai latte before heading to work. Watched some of my coworkers play ping pong and then tried out a new quiet room, which is a really nice area. You, uh, you know what? Another thing as well. I bet the reason why they eat and drink so much food, not just because it's so nice, but I reckon they, like, if you're, let's say, like, you're, like, a basic office, yeah? Like, the one from the office. Uh, I reckon, like, if, like, you had a place like that with really nice food, you still wouldn't eat that much if the toilet was disgusting. If the toilet situation was absolutely foul, you wouldn't go. I bet their toilets are like the ones in the boys, you know, in Vought Tower, like insane, like like perfectly polished floors, little private cubicles. They've probably got like a bath and a shower in there as well that's like oh, got eucalyptus towels and you know, grapefruit soaps, you know, like, oh my God. And you just like relax and unplug. I think that's like a huge thing, like, the reason why they're drinking and eating so much as well is because their toilet situation is mint and they don't feel weird about going to the toilet or like bad about going to the toilet. I, for example, if I was working in an office, would quite literally hold in in the entire day. I did that at school. Literally, I never used the bathroom in secondary school. Never. That's the kind of person I was. Work. Then it was time to buckle down, like sat in our focus area and for a while. size and how empty these office buildings are grabbed a snack after i was hungry oh. and then i finished up the rest of my work before it's getting someone, it's someone's job to put kettle chips and there's little reesey puff things in drawers and organize them and make sure they're stocked up it's someone's job to do that email announcing the next team that i'll be joining through my blp program work was finally over it was hot as hell so we went to go get some drinks in lincoln park before heading to a housewarming party for one of our co-workers here we are there was banana pudding it was just great summer Burger vibes and dead. really fun to connect but with I'm everyone. And then we last minute decided, F it, let's go out. So we headed to West Loop and went to Federale's really quick drink. At this point, I realized what that I was still out with my work laptop. So I decided to call it a night. Good night. Oh my God. Again, where was the work being done? <laughs> what? Well, um, that's enough, I think, from me and, and, and enough for your poor eyes and ears. Thank you for watching. 
I will be uploading every single day on this channel during December. I will be going live tomorrow with more Callisto Pro... I will be going live tomorrow with more Callisto Protocol. We are playing it in the hardest difficulty, so wish me luck. And yeah, come by the stream. I appreciate it. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.